वेलकम टू सुपीरियर प्रॉफिट वीकली मार्केट राउंड अप 28 अप्रैल 2018 आई एम सागर नंदी चीफ एनालिस्ट एंड ट्रेडर एट सुपीरियर प्रॉफिट ए कंपनी बेस्ड इन सिंगापुर आई विल नॉट टेक टाइम टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू नो मोर अबाउट मी द कंपनी सुपीरियर प्रॉफिट एंड मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली हाउ इट मे हेल्प इन योर ट्रेडिंग यू मे विजिट द वेबसाइट superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu before we begin we go through the standard disclaimer this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on superior profit trading system the information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading past performance is no guarantee of future return Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, we will look at technical charts of oil and gold. These tend to impact related stocks. when the broad market goes up many stocks go up with that that is why we keep an eye on the broad market we study that using nasdaq and nyse market breadth and also technical charts of the four broad market etfs we will do the same thing today other than aligning trades with the market's direction we like to trade in alignment with industry's strength or weakness we study that using industry rotation using qh industry score card and heat map while analyzing the market sectors industries we may go through some of the trades posted in our traders community in the recent days and we will try to look for potential trades for the coming week that was the last slide of the presentation let's move to live session we begin our commodity study using us oil etf uso we are studying that using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart together we call this at a glance template because this template allows us to decide if there is a low risk entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in a few seconds in last week's market round up i mentioned looking at the price closing very close to the upper boundary that it would not be the time to take any long trade and it was bullish so we were not going to take any short trade either that analysis was appropriate this week market didn't go anywhere practically it moved sideways we can see that the closing price of the last four days were almost at the same level only on monday price tried to go up tuesday it came back down again weekly candles of two successive weeks have long upper tail they are in cyan color so the colors and the shapes of last two weeks are contrasting each other that is not a safe time to take either long trade or short trade we may wait for a more clear opportunity to appear on usi now we are looking at gold using the same at a glance template we are using the gold etf gld last week looking at the right edge of the chart i observed that gold was going up down up down around a central price level and suggested that until it breaks out of this triangle pattern in daily chart the direction is not clear and it would be safe to stay away from gold trade this week gold dropped on monday 2 3 4 gold dropped on monday after that it practically moved sideways 
there is no Q trade setup for swing trading at the moment in gold. Let's now move to market breadth analysis. Every week we study market breadth using NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index both using weekly charts because this analysis is using broad indices and weekly charts it is to be used only for long term investment decisions not for swing trading and certainly not for day trading this week both nasdaq and nyse created weekly candles with long lower tail therefore the shapes are bullish however if we look at the last two weeks on a closing basis, they were practically unchanged. In the previous week, it tried to go up and closed lower. This week, it tried to go down and closed higher. Both the weeks closed at approximately same price level. This is showing indecision in the market. The same indecision is there in the internals as well the new high low that was instrumental in the earlier periods when market was going up they are having muted influence now for several weeks we have been discussing this in the market rounders the new high lows are not going anywhere if we look at all the internals we see all of them went up this week however all of them closed very close to zero some little bit above zero some little bit below zero but all of them closed near zero that is also showing that market is not aggressively moving in any direction let's see if this indecision is there in the broad market ETFs as well SPY is this week's best performer. It also has a long lower tail this week. It had long upper tail in the previous week. That is showing indecision in the market. In the daily chart, it is inside a triangle pattern. Unless it moves out of this triangle pattern, the direction is not clear. We may stay away from any swing trend. QQQ, very similar pattern in weekly, two successive weeks, one with long upper tail, one with long lower tail. Daily is also similar to SPY, moving inside triangle pattern. We will wait for the instrument to break out of the triangle pattern before deciding to take the next swing trade. Dia is also having a similar pattern in weekly as well as daily. All these three ETFs are inside triangle patterns. We may wait for the dire triangle to be broken before considering any swing trade. IWM, this is the fourth ETF that we study. This is also inside triangle pattern in the daily chart. This is the most bullish when we look at the weekly as well as the daily iwm is the only etf that went above the yellow direction line and so far it is holding above that it is the strongest among the four etfs right now therefore if we are going to look for day trade opportunity then we may look for that in iwm that is for long direction day trade opportunity. There is no swing trade opportunity in IWM also right now. If we combine the information from market breadth and from the ETFs, we see that market breadth is neutral more or less. And the ETFs also are not giving any trade signal. All of them are inside triangle pattern. That is also showing indecision. So the 
insight from broad market breadth and broad market ETFs are aligning. Both are telling us to stay away from the market until the direction becomes clearer. Let's now move to sector and industry analysis. Sector analysis. Every week we study 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of this week, green bar performance of one week before the red bar, blue bar performance of two weeks before the green bar. Together they constitute four weeks or about one month of performance. Any bar to the right of the zero point shows the sector went up. Any bar to the left of the zero point shows the sector went down. This week, seven sectors gained and four went down. Overall, this paints a slightly bullish picture. Financials and infotech were strong earlier and now they weakened. Information technology and financials both ended in the negative. And some of the sectors that were previously lagging, utilities, real estate and healthcare, utilities, real estate and healthcare. They outperformed others. They closed in the positive and they are three of the best performing sectors this week. In real estate, we identified potential long trades in INN, APTS, PK and IRT five weeks ago. And all those stocks are doing well. These stocks once again show that you can be ahead of others in picking stocks ready to go up using the Q360 degrees top down or bottom up analysis where we are able to identify stocks that are technically sound, fundamentally sound and whose industry is also starting to go up. This is a snapshot from the market roundup of 31st March. At that time, we had studied multiple stocks including APTS, INNPK and mentioned that there may be potential long opportunities in these stocks. We chose these stocks because at that time the real estate industries were going up. They were some of the best performing industries and these stocks were strong technically as well as fundamentally. Let's look at these stocks today using weekly chart and see how they have performed since the weekend of 31st March. We look at INN, PK, APTS and IRT. I have put a vertical line on the weekly candle that was the weekend of 31st March. We are looking at INN using weekly backdrop chart. We can see that since the time we discussed the possibility of a long trade in this real estate stock well ahead of others. I remember I watched several other blogs and videos people were bearish on real estate but using objective analysis we could identify these few stocks and INN has done quite well since then. We could catch you can see from the weekly chart almost the very bottom of this stock. PK using weekly chart again we can see that from the week ending 31st March this stock has done very very well. APTS this is a stock where we mentioned that we could try to catch it if price goes near the memory support or if it breaks above this narrow range. It hasn't broken above the narrow range yet. If somebody was keeping an eye on this stock, they could try to buy at the very bottom just as price hit the memory support line two times during this period. If somebody could catch the bottom using the memory support lines, they have slight profit. The stock seems bullish 
it may more likely go up than come down now. The last talk that we discussed at that time was IRT. IRT has also gone up since we discussed it. This week had earnings. It went down one day but recovered on the same day and closed higher. Overall, this chart is also bullish. We saw that using Q analysis, we could identify potential longs in the real estate stocks five weeks before. Probably now or maybe one week ago, people were starting to notice the real estate industry is going up. But using our analysis, we could identify these stocks well ahead of others. Let's now move to industry analysis. These are the 10 of the best performing industries this way. Five of them are in consumer discretionary. You may look for long trades in these industries. Alternative carriers is one of the best performers this week. In last market roundup, we saw alternative carriers accelerated. At that time, we had discussed CenturyLink, CTL giving possible long opportunity. That materialized this week. CenturyLink went up by 7.3% after signaling a go with flow long signal on this Monday, 23rd April. Once again, QH acceleration scores correctly predicted impending industry move. We could identify CTL because it was fundamentally strong, optimally valued stock. It was paying nice dividend and technically it was about to give a go with flow long trade setup. This is a snapshot of the accelerating industries from one week ago. We saw alternative carriers accelerating last week and we had discussed of CenturyLink at that time. Let's look at CenturyLink stock and see how it went up this week. At the close of previous week, CenturyLink's weekly candle was already bullish, cyan color, and at that time it had broken above the weekly memory resistance line. At that time, price closed at this yellow candle in the daily chart and we had noted that it was above all the three direction lines, cyan, magenta as well as yellow. This Monday, it gave a cyan color candle that was a signal for a go with flow long trade setup. One could enter the trade at the close of Monday putting stop just below recent low with a profit target of upper boundary. The profit target was hit in two trading days. As the stock continues to be strong on technical charts, both daily and weekly, and the industry is one of the best performer, we don't have any reason to exit the full position. Partial profit could be booked at upper boundary and partial position could be held and try to let profit run. Coming back to the best performing industries of this way, drug retail is one of the best performers. I anticipated that during the week using Q360 degree analysis, looking at industry sector fundamentals and technicals and shared a long trade idea on Walgreens Boots Alliance WBA that setup worked out precisely as planned. Let's look up WBA in the QH industry analysis, look at its fundamentals and then look at its technical charts. Every time we open QH it analyzes 11 sectors and more than 
170 industry groups. Let's look at the sector panel. QA analyzes the items across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods. Assigns a low score of 1 to the worst performing item and a high score to the best performing item. Also assigns a heat map magenta to the worst performer, cyan to the best performer. The result is a scorecard and heat map table that instantly tells us which item sector in industry sector in this case is the worst performer right now that is industrials utilities is the best performer of this wheel. It also tells us which sector is strengthening color changing from magenta to cyan as we can see for utilities real estate and to some extent for healthcare. It is more clear in utilities and real estate that they are transitioning from weakness to strength. If we go to the industry tab to identify the best performing industries of the week, we can sort the industries over five days from largest to smallest score. The best performers come to the top. Drug retail is one industry that was weak earlier in magenta color and now very nicely gradually strengthening changing color to cyan and holding on to that color in last two days and one days. That caught my interest and I looked up the stocks in drug retail. We could click on the drill down button to retrieve data on drug retail stocks in real time. To save time I will use Q scorecard where the offline data is already available. This is Q scorecard using offline data to retrieve the stocks on an industry we could filter by that drug retail. We see there are two stocks CVS and WBA Walgreens Boots Alliance. Both of them are optimally valued. We know they are optimally valued instantly from the cyan color of the relative value column. WBA also has improving earnings growth in the latest quarter. Both of them gives a decent dividend percentage and both have good earnings quality. Let's look at the post from forum on WBA. This is the topic I posted on WBA in our forum three days ago. At that time, though the market was down, WBA went up. This is how the weekly chart looked at that time. It came to the weekly watermark support level and nicely reversed from there. Creating a false downside breakout and at that time it displayed a bull release signal, the up arrow in the weekly chart the weekly candle color had also turned bullish cyan. In the daily chart just a few days ago it had displayed the bullish headwind possible reversal signal and so far it is able to catch the very bottom of the stock. At that time price was going up from the memory support line in daily. It had a cyan color candle that is a possible go with flow long trade signal. However, I mentioned that there was a memory resistance line not very far from the current price at that time. Observing that I commented that one could take a long on the cyan candle and closely observe the stock as it hits the memory resistance line or one could wait for the memory resistance to be broken 
and then give us a local low before taking a long trade. If somebody took a long on this candle, the last candle of this chart, then by the time price hit memory resistance, they could try to book per share profit. Before looking at WBA chart today, let's look at the stocks fundamental at that time. It was optimally valued. We can see from the real tree value score being in cyan, it had earnings growth. Both for earnings and revenue, it had accelerating growth and it was paying a nice dividend at that time. The industry was starting to strengthen from that time itself. So when I posted this trade idea, everything was in favor of the trade. Let's look at the stock today. This is WBA as of Friday's market close. I had identified the possible long trade on this candle. On Friday, it tried to go above the memory resistance and closed just below it. That is what I mentioned in the post that if somebody was going to take a long on this candle then he or she may need to watch carefully for possible reversal from the memory resistance. It closed below the memory resistance on Friday looking at that at least partial profit could be booked. The weekly candle is bullish so it seems more likely that the stock will go up then go down. You may keep an eye on this stock. Another industry that is in the best performance list is housewares and specialties. This was lagging for a while. You may look for possible long in this industry as it was weak and now starting to strengthen. There are two stocks in this industry, Tupperware, TUP and Newell, NWL. Both are at or near technical buy point as of Friday's close. Both broke above memory resistance lines. Both are optimally valued. And both of these stocks pay a nice dividend. Therefore, we have many things going in favor of a long trade in these stocks. Industry is strong. Fundamental strong and technicals are also strong. Let's look at them from QH, Q score cut and Q charts. From QH heat map, we can instantly see that houseware and specialties was weak earlier, magenta color. Now nicely transitioning to strength. It is already strong over five days, the primary review period for entering longs both for swing trading as well as long term investing and it is holding on to the strength over two days and one day period. Let's look at the stocks in this industry. We'll use Q scorecard for that. From Q scorecard we can see three stocks in this housewares and specialties industry two of them NWL and TWP are optimally valued. Both pay nice dividends 3.3 and 5.9 percentages respectively. Let's look at their technical charts. This is new L. It nicely broke the memory resistance in weekly with a bullish shape and bullish color candle. And in daily also, it broke above one of the memory resistance lines. As of Friday's close, the stock went above the three direction lines. Not only cyan and magenta, but also above the yellow direction line. Fundamentals, industry strength and technicals all are bullish for this stock. There is another memory resistance line nearby. 
one may wait for price to break above that and give a low risk buy opportunity before taking a long trade. An aggressive trader may try to enter on Friday's close and likewise in the case of WBA watch it carefully for possible reversal from the memory resistance line. What about Tupperware? This is Tupperware using Q at a glance chart template. In the weekly chart, it closed higher, displaying a bullish headwind signal. This was earnings week. On Wednesday, it went up sharply and broke this memory line. Earlier, it had broken another memory resistance line. After this sharp move up on Wednesday, it is holding on to the price move. If now it breaks above the high of the Wednesday candle, then one might consider taking a long trade in Tupperware. Using the best performing industries and drilling down into fundamentals and technicals, we could identify multiple long opportunities. CenturyLink, Walgreens Boots Alliance and also upcoming possible long trades in Tupperware and Newell. Let's now move to the worst performing industries. These are 10 of the worst performers of this week. They moved by a similar magnitude as the best performing industries. This balancing move also shows market neutrality, it was neither bullish or bearish. I drilled down into some of these industries but couldn't find any optimal trade opportunity from these worst performing industries. That seems to show that there is less likelihood that market will immediately drop. When the worst performing industries don't give obvious short opportunities, it may take a while. Accelerating industries, every week we look at them because they tend to be the best performers in coming weeks. Consumer discretionary and consumer staples dominate accelerating industries. Five of the best accelerating industries are in consumer discretionary. These are laser products, automobile manufacturers, automobiles and motorcycle manufacturers and footwear. And four are in consumer staples, packaged foods and meats, food products, household products and brewers. I tried to find possible swing longs in the consumer discretionary industries here but couldn't find any suitable opportunity right now. One stock of interest was Harley Davidson that is in the motorcycle manufacturers industry. Let's look at it using Q edge first and then Q scorecard and Q charts. In Q edge to find the accelerating industries we sort over paste 5 days column largest to smallest. Motorcycle manufacturers is one that was weaker earlier, deep magenta and turning cyan now. Over five days, it is almost cyan and the score improved sharply compared to that over 10 days. That is showing up as acceleration over the past five days column. Harley Davidson is a stock in this industry. Let's look it up from Q scorecard. This is Harley Davidson. HOG is the ticker symbol. The valuation is in the medium. It is neither overvalued nor optimally valued, somewhere in the middle. Pays a dividend of 3.5 percent. In the latest quarter, earnings growth was negative. Revenue growth also slowed down. 
in terms of fundamentals it is mixed somewhere in the middle maybe more on the weaker side from the earnings growth and revenue growth perspective let's look at the technical charts to see if there is a possible trade opportunity based on technicals this is Harley Davidson using Q at a glance template in the weekly chart it had a sharp drop it is still declining in the weekly chart however the color of the candles has turned neutral this week was earnings week price tried to go up but then pull back we can see that from the upper tail in the weekly candle from the daily chart we see earnings was on Tuesday that candle was indecisive on a closing basis it was up it had long lower tail but also had solid body so it had a sharp gap up price opened very close to the memory resistance lines and then fell from there after Tuesday it is moving sideways if it breaks out of these memory resistance lines then it may give us a low risk long trade opportunity based on technical charts if the industry is strengthening at the same time then one might consider taking a trade the consumer staples industries that came in the accelerating list they were weak earlier especially the food products related industries they are defensive industries I looked at packaged foods and meats and found these two stocks well-known stocks Dean Foods DF and Kellogg K both pay a high dividend yield and are optimally valued DF is making an excellent base on technical charts and Kellogg stock dropping at long-term watermark as well as memory support lines in the weekly charts. You may keep an eye on these stocks for potential longs. Let's look at them again from QH, Q scorecard and technical charts. Package foods and meats is another industry that was very weak earlier. That is obvious from the magenta color. In earlier periods and now the score has turned somewhat cyan it is showing up as cyan over page 5 days column showing that it is accelerating let's look at the stocks of this industry from Q scorecard these are the stocks in packaged foods and meats industry to get the best valued stocks to the top we can sort over relative value column largest to smallest we can instantly see from the color coding that Dean Foods DF and K Kilo both are optimally valued we know that from the cyan color of the scores Kellogg pays a dividend of 3.6 percent and DF pays a dividend of 4.1 percent reasonable dividend df also has a short squeeze potential let's look at the technical just to see if we may have any long trade opportunity in the coming weeks this is dean foods using at a glance template in the weekly chart it is creating a base for many weeks now we had earnings on this week since then low of the earnings week scandal has not been breached if price goes up and closes above this watermark support level then it will create a nice false downside breakout along with a base in the daily chart it is inside triangle pattern if it breaks above this triangle pattern then it may give us a low risk long trade opportunity what about Kellogg this is Kellogg 
in the weekly chart it dropped sharply this week it pierced below the weekly memory support line but closed well above it creating a false downside breakout it also hit this weekly watermark support and precisely bounced up from there in the daily chart it is still going down there is a declining memory resistance line and it is in clear downtrend with lower highs and lower lows because it bounced from multiple support lines on the weekly chart you may keep an eye on this stock for a potential reversal right now there is no trade opportunity but this is a stock that you may add to your watch list now we are looking at the decelerating industries worst decelerating industries are spread across multiple sectors qh heat map shows casinos and gaming is one industry that is transitioning gradually from strength to weakness you may be cautious about long positions in this industry mgm is a stock in casinos and gaming that dropped by 11.7% this week keeping an eye on the reversal from weekly memory resistance on q charts and the industry deterioration on q edge you could take a bearish trade using short call vertical why short call vertical because it was right before earnings so we would not like to take a bearish trade using stocks put options will be very highly valued so it is optimal probably to take a bearish trade using short call vertical this trade turned out to be highly profitable mgm had earnings on 26th april and dropped heavily after that using q systems you could take the short just two days before the stock dropped let's look at mgm's industry and then its technical charts in q edge to look for the decelerating industries we sort of our base five days column smallest to largest the worst decelerating industries come to the top casinos and gaming is an industry that was strong earlier the scores were in cyan color and now very smoothly transitioning to magenta that is bearish over five days it is already bearish and it became bearish sharply that is showing up as deceleration on the base five days column let's look at its technical chart technical charts of mgm this is the chart of mgm using q at a glance template there was no straightforward q trade setup however if somebody was holding a long position in mgm just before earnings there were several warning signs one week ago it tried to go above the weekly memory resistance line and closed below that creating a false upside breakup this week again price tried to go above the same memory resistance line and reverse from there in several market roundups i have discussed that if we keep an eye on memory support or resistance of a higher time frame then we can use a lower time frame to enter a trade precisely as price reverses from the memory level let me explain that using a single chart in the weekly chart we already knew that price created a false upside breakout one week ago and this week initially price went up and then it was starting to go down we could be ready by drawing a horizontal line at the memory resistance price level that is our higher time frame weekly chart and then switch to daily chart this is mgm using daily chart clean chart template which shows the memory lines and watermark levels on this candle monday of this week price tried to go above the memory 
resistance that was in the weekly chart and reversed closing below that memory resistance level this is the price level that we drew at the weekly memory resistance level at the close of this candle one could take a short trade because earnings was nearby we would not like to take a short trade using stocks one could take that trade using short call vertical that trade was extremely profitable the profit would come from delta move because the price fell down and also from volatility crash the option volatility will go down after earnings we had discussed this technique several times in the context of daily and real time charts observing a memory resistance in daily and then taking a day trade or precise swing trade using real time chart the same concept can be applied between weekly and daily time frames as well as was in the case of mgm steel is one industry that decelerated us steel x is the ticker symbol dropped heavily after earnings in spite of having a sound year over year earnings growth it broke below long term weekly support with heavy activity x is now near multiple daily as well as weekly support levels it doesn't have any long opportunity yet but it is near multiple support levels and it dropped with heavy activity that may point to possible exertion you may look for a potential reversal and bounce long trade setup in the coming week especially if the industry starts to recover i also looked up several other steel stocks they are not as bearish as us steel if the other stocks start to go up the industry will also start to go up and x may go up along with them giving a very low risk exertion based long trade opportunity Let's look at U.S. Steel's industry fundamentals and then look at its technicals. U.S. Steel is an industry that was strong earlier, turned weak in the middle. We see the heat map changed from cyan to magenta, started to strengthen again, and then again turned magenta over five days. This is up down up down move. The possible next move may be upward let's look at the stocks fundamentals in this industry we have multiple stocks all but one that is ati are either optimally valued or medium valued only ati is overvalued us steel is medium valued the relative valuation column is in yellow it has robust earnings growth in recent quarters revenue growth is also positive it has a short squeeze potential so there are several fundamental factors that point to a possible long trade let's look at its technical chart us still drop this way and in one of the earlier weeks it had displayed a bearish headwind that could catch the very top of the stock again at the right edge it closed below the memory support line it had heavy activity in the weekly chart in daily it dropped heavily on friday because of earnings result it had extreme high activity in weekly it is near the memory support line slightly below the memory support line in daily it is near multiple supports as well the memory support as well as the wide direction line if now price goes up from here closing above friday's close on monday then it will give us a possible bounce long trade setup bounce trade setup is one that doesn't need the weekly candle color to be yellow or cyan we can take that red setup even if weekly candle color is magenta we like to take such a bounce long trade if the industry is also strengthening that we can find in real time from q1 
QH. You may keep an eye on X for such possible bounce long trade opportunity. Those were the regular topics. Let us go through some of the trade ideas I shared through our social network pages and see how I analyze them using live market. Let's go to Facebook page. We could go to Twitter, Facebook or Google Plus pages. Yesterday, one of my MBA classmates sent me a message asking whether it was a time to buy Facebook. He observed that Facebook pulled down little bit and was wondering if there was a possibility of quick long trade. I looked up Facebook using Q360 degrees analysis. This is the post. Let's go to the forums post. As of that time, Facebook was just below memory resistances, both in weekly chart and daily chart. In daily, we can see a huge gap up because of earnings result and that gap up led price to close just below memory. Isn't it amazing? Because price was already up substantially, I suggested not to take any long trade because stop would be far away and also because price was closing below the memory resistance lines both in weekly and daily. Let's look at Facebook how it turned out after that. Whether it went up or down is really not the point. The point is to make disciplined decision based on objective data and that decision was not to take any long trade at that point. Let's see the chart anyway. Next day after my post Facebook tried to go up but again went down and closed below the memory resistance lines in daily and weekly. Facebook is bullish in terms of weekly candle and also in terms of successive higher lows and higher highs in daily chart. However, it is overextended to the upside, very close to upper boundary and closing just below memory resistances. So we would not like to take any long now. If it pulled back and then went up again, maybe from the yellow direction line, then it might give us a low risk long trade opportunity, but not right now. This is another idea that I posted in our community on April 26th doing a live analysis on the market using Q sonar starting with Q sonar looking for potential trade setup and if I found one then looking up the stocks fundamentals and industry strength I found three stocks at that time let's look at the forum post These three stocks were AKS, AK Steel, BIIB, Biogen and BTI, British American Tobacco. They were in three different industries and they were having three different types of charts. Let's look at the snapshots I shared on that day. This is AK Steel. In the weekly chart, it was nicely going up from a memory support line and the weekly candles had turned bullish in terms of shape and color. In the daily chart, it was still inside a triangle pattern. So it might be absolutely fine to wait for a breakup above the memory resistance, let price pull back and go up again, giving a low risk true go with flow long trade opportunity. Still at the right edge of the chart it already had higher lows and you can say higher highs. So it was starting to go up in an uptrend and gave us a cyan colored candle on this bar. Looking at that one might start to consider taking a long trade. Let's look at the other stocks charts. This was 
Biogen. It had a very sharp drop in the weekly chart, displayed a bullish headwind signal. Also price came to very long term watermark support level reverse from there. The last candle in the weekly chart was very bullish in shape and color. In daily chart, price had broken above the memory resistance and it had heavy activity around that time showing that the breakout was caused by aggressive buyers probably not by aggressive sellers. This chart also looked bullish to me. This was the third stock I shared in that post. This was British American Tobacco, Tobacco Company. It had a sharp drop, hit the very long term watermark support in weekly and reversed from there with a bullish headwind signal. Created a false downside breakout and had very high activity in the weekly chart. That was pointing to possible exertion. In the daily, it completed the false downside breakout. The watermark in weekly was around 52.8, 52.9. So the false downside breakout was completed at this price level. It had extreme high activity in that region pointing to possible exertion it also displayed a bull release signal in the daily chart that looked bullish to me three stocks with three different charts in three different industries how was their industry and fundamental strength using q vital i could check that up immediately ak steel and biogen AKS and BIIB both had optimal valuation. British American Tobacco had neutral valuation. However, it had very nice dividend yield 5% plus. So in terms of fundamentals, all the three stocks had something or other going for it. I then looked up their industry strength, biotech had acceleration over one day period. BIIB belonged to biotech industry. This industry was weak for a long time and all the three base columns were somewhat cyan, especially so over one day period. So I thought that it might be accelerating upward. BIIB was at a very low price level in the chart so it could be an opportunity to catch the very bottom. Steel industry was strong weekend in the middle, strong again. Weekend over five days and over two days it went up again with acceleration. So there was a possibility that this stock will also go up. Tobacco is one industry that was weak for a long time it had some improvement in the industry score that was a fast improvement over two days that showed up as acceleration over two days period. Remember this tobacco company BTI was also at the very bottom. It had a very sharp drop and was starting to go up from there. So we expect the industry to take time to recover. It will first display acceleration over one day period, then two days period, then five days and then the five days code will change to cyan. That is the usual sequence. If we are trying to catch a stock at the very bottom using one of the sharp reversal techniques like box or bounce trade setups, then we expect the industry to be weak at that time. That was the case for British American Tobacco. That was my analysis at that time. Let's look at the charts as of today. By the way, before looking at the charts, let's look up the stock's earnings. AK is with one stock that is having earnings nearby in the beginning of next week. 
therefore if we took a long trade in AKS the right instrument would be to use short put verticals it would not be safe to take a long trade in AKS using stocks and call options would be probably very expensive short put vertical setup would be most appropriate that is my way of trading just before earnings let's look at the charts as of today this is AKS in the weekly it is maintaining the support line the memory support line closing above it the weekly candle shape is indecisive color is still bullish in daily it had displayed a bullish headwind and so far going up on Friday it initially went down but then price recovered nicely so the candle shape is bullish so far AKS is continuing to go up we had identified the potential on this cyan candle it is slightly below that it is taken as an earnings play if somebody took it on the sand candle that would be considered as an earnings play we have to see if next week after earnings it goes up or down so far it is holding on to its price level biogen biib it already had earnings and so far it is going up the weekly candle shape ended being very positive we have to see if it is going to go up from here or not I change to the clean chart template so we can see the memory lines that were broken these were the memory lines when a stock was in downtrend and the resistance memories get broken one by one first one second one third one fourth one fourth one was the last one then it shows that price is starting to turn we can see that even before the actual price turns I shared this stock observing this day scandal where it tried to go above memory resistance but close just below that and next day at open somebody could take the long trade earnings was already out so earnings related volatility would not be there using fine tune chart one could take a long trade right at the open of this candle this is the same technique that we had discussed earlier if at open price is above the memory resistance breaks a memory resistance using fine tune chart we may look for a precise long trend opportunity that trade has done very well so far if somebody took the long trade on this candle earnings was already over so one could take that using call option as well in weekly continues to be a very bullish shape and color candle right now the third stock I shared in that post was BTI British American Tobacco you can see that after the false downside breakout at the weekly watermark level it is nicely going up one could take the long just as price went above this weekly watermark price level 52.3 or 52.4 somewhere here it could be taken using a call option and that trade is doing pretty well as well let's look at one more post from our community this was a post on the drug retailer we already looked at that Walgreens Boots Alliance so let's skip this one this was a post explaining breakups let's go to Metastock for a minute in the explorer list we now have two additional explorers Q break out downside and Q break out upside we can run these sonars either in real time or after market close if we see a stock is soundly 
closing below memory supports breaking down then we may be concerned about that stock for qqq that is being displayed here that will happen the breakdown will happen if price closes below these multiple memory support lines and we could find that day in real time or after market hours using the breakout up or down sonars usually the breakouts don't give low risk swing trade entry however they may be useful under multiple circumstances one is sometimes they do give low risk entries so we can take them and sometimes they may break the memory right at market open and then using fine tune chart we can take a precise entry in this post i refer to one blog explaining that if you are holding a stock a decisive breakdown may be of concern this was a stock where i observed decisive breakdown at that time pwr this stock was moving up down up down near the right edge it was inside a triangle pattern since middle of february you can see it started from the beginning of february after this sharp drop came inside the triangle pattern and at the right edge it fell below the memory support lines this is a breakdown so if somebody was holding the stock for long term they might have as well exited long time ago but if they didn't exit for some reason i think that was a good point to start exiting the long positions for swing trading it would be too late to take a short trade if pwr recovered somewhat and then tilted down again that would give a low risk swing trade opportunity let's look at mark this is also a stock that i shared with traders don't remember exactly where i shared it and this is a stock where we could take a long trade using breakouts there was a memory resistance line at this point on this day it had a gap up and soon after open it broke the memory resistance line if we ran q sonar soon after market open then mark would have come as a breakout candidate using q fine tune chart we could take a very low risk long trade near the lower side of this candle i in fact took it using call options and that trade is turning out to be very profitable the long trade could be taken using stocks as well this is an example where we could use breakout sonar to enter a long trade with very low low risk you may keep an eye on our social network pages twitter facebook or google plus to get alerts on the latest posts these posts will either refer to a traders forum post or a blog or sometimes a very quick post from me using the chart snapshots industry analysis etc let's summarize from the market breadth we don't have any clarity on market's direction for two successive weeks we had long tail candles in the previous week it had an upper tail this week it had lower tail both the weeks closed at nearly same price level the internals are also indecisive all the six internals closed very close to zero broad market etfs are also indecisive they are inside triangle patterns unless they break out of the triangle patterns we are not sure of the direction when we drill down to sectors and industries i didn't find many obvious long or short opportunities we found some those were generally in defensive industries like century link that we identified one week ago that did very well we also identified several possible longs in healthcare industries and also in foods 
products industries. Those are all defensive industries. The defensive industries are the only ones that seems to give possible long-term investment opportunities right now as well as possible long swing trade opportunities. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.